Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here with your Flying Weather Outlook for the week and a weekend ahead, brought to you exclusively by Fly Magazine in association with weatherschool.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Now, um, I've got one place left, just a single place left on my Aviation Weather School Part 1 on the Saturday mornings of the 18th and 25th of September between 09.30 and 12.30 hours. So if you want to learn how to be able to spot weather windows five days in advance, build your confidence in making predictions yourself and just all round understanding the weather beyond the PPL because let's face it the PPL is just a bit of a tick box isn't it you know you, you, you almost just learn it by rote but how much of that weather information sinks in I show you what you really need to know as pilots in a, a fun way and uh, we do have a great time at Aviation Weather School go and have a look at weatherschool.co.uk for the reviews given by other pilots as I say I've got one place remaining on my course on the 18th and 25th of September so if you'd like to come along go to weatherschool.co.uk come down to Aviation click on Aviation Weather School live online course and uh, you can see all uh, that we cover on that course and book your place now here by just clicking on book securely by card or paypal it's presented live online entirely by me but you can't have everything can you uh it'll be great to see you there um also don't forget you can get your forecast uh, for the weekend uh, that free email that i send out uh, if you're not getting that yet and thousands of pilots are every week then uh, just send a blank email to aviation weather hyphen subscribe at weatherweb.net the address that you see on the screen there and you can start getting that free uh, text forecast on a thursday or a friday just emailed over to you you don't get any spam you don't get any rubbish it's just the forecast so i can update you on what's going on through the weekend so what about this week well generally it looks like it's going to be dry and flyable overall some low cloud in the east but it will be breezy too at times particularly in the south we may see some changes as we head into the weekend but overall actually it's quite a straightforward forecast this is uh, today high pressure off the west of Scotland, northeasterly flow across uh, all parts of the country. Notice the isobars quite close together in the south, again indicating that things there probably are going to be a little bit breezy. Some cloud down these eastern coasts, uh, particularly eastern Scotland, we could just see one or two spots of rain from that, but generally it is going to be VFRable all the way. On to Tuesday, and high pressure stays with us. Still got the north to northeasterly flow, very little changes. Isobars close together in the south, a little bit of breeze there, only talking 12 to 15. Knots and always more in the way of cloud down these eastern coasts, being drifting in off the sea. Generally, though, all areas are going to be flyable. Base is probably around four to six thousand feet, maybe a little bit lower in the east, about two thousand foot bases, four thousand foot tops. And then for Wednesday, high pressure stays to the west of Scotland again, northeasterly flow, pretty breezy in the south, 12 to 15 knots. I say breezy, I don't know, overdo it. It's just more of a moderate breeze there. Uh, some low cloud down these eastern coasts, but generally, again, we've got flyable conditions. Base is uh, typically 4,000 feet, again, top 6,000 feet, 2,000 feet in the east at times, 5,000 foot tops. And then heading in towards Thursday, the high pressure stays with us on Thursday. Could get quite breezy in the south Thursday. The isobars there closer together. Could be looking at an east and northeasterly uh, at around sort of 18 to 20 knots, maybe 25 knots on the eastern coast, but for most it's going to be fair again. The broken cloud base is three to perhaps 4,000 feet, tops around five to 7,000 feet. So a decent day. Could be some morning fog, I guess, across Scotland, Northern Ireland and Northern England. And then for Friday, uh, high pressure stays with us on Friday. Again, could be some mist and fog first thing, but that will clear. And then all areas look as if they are going to be fine. Eastern coast again may be subject to lower cloud, one to two thousand foot bases with that lighter wind. The base is a little bit higher, a little bit lower, sorry, tops about five thousand feet. Generally for most three thousand foot bases, five thousand foot tops. But look out towards the west here. A front it is a coming. And for Saturday, it's just getting its way into the west of Ireland. Now, what this may do is bring low cloud and some drizzle, perhaps across southern coast of Ireland, far southwestern coast of England, lower bases here. Elsewhere, generally flyable, 4,000 foot bases, 6,000 foot tops, but the cloud tending to increase from the west during the course of the day. Causes one or two questions over how things develop for Sunday. Probably uh, we stay under the influence of lower pressure. Probably some drizzle across western areas and southern and southwestern areas as well. But generally most central and east areas remain flying. But I have to say, a bit of a question mark over much of flying for Sunday. But just those hints of a breakdown 
trying to take place. Of course, we'll update you during the course of this week. And it's one just to keep a very close eye on the charts for just to look for those developments headed into the weekend. Now, don't forget, I've got that single place left at Aviation Weather School on the Saturday mornings of the 18th and 25th of September. It'd be great to see you there. Book your place now at weatherschool.co.uk. And as I say, that's the place to go to see what other pilots have said. OK, I will leave you with that for now, whatever you're doing. Thanks again for watching. Keep the sun shining and bye for now.